Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. It's been a great pleasure to have you join our live webinar about the Bread Digital Transformation Series. In keeping up with today's momentum in the virtual world, it has become pertinent that we move into the future of technology in managing our day-to-day -day activities. Especially with the advent of the pandemic, we have embraced the new culture, our new culture is to work from home. We at Vertebra Limited have put together this webinar to share with you how to embrace and build on technology advancements to meet business requirements or operational activities. Today, we'll be discussing electronic memo and approvals in the new digital age. At the end of this session, you will understand end-to-end -end visibility with clear data-driven decisions through insights and superior analytics. And most importantly, you will be able to maximize information technology investments as this is the future of working from home. My name is Mosumola Adewale Akobada. Subsequently, my colleague Adeola Yomi Patrick will be presenting this session. We would also like you to be a part of this after this presentation by asking questions or making contributions. Remy Odulate will coordinate the question and answer at the chat room. It will be answered at the end of the session or use the raise hand feature to enable your ask questions. Frederick would also attend to technical related questions. Thank you as you listen. Adelaide and Patrick, over to you. Thank you very much, Mosso, and a good afternoon to everyone. Thank you for joining us at this webinar. Now, in the formation of an organization, it is very important to put into place your business process. Now, this stems from the goal or the strategic goal that has been designed by an organization. Now, to support our business processes, it's important that we have a workflow in place. Now, workflow are steps that are performed in a sequential manner to be able to meet up with the business processes that has been defined by an organization. Now, how do we establish our workflow? or having established our workflow, how do we effectively ensure that it is implemented? Now, I want to paint a scenario of a school business. Now, one of the goals of a school is to increase the number of students that attend the school. Now, what is the admission process, which speaks to the business process of that school? In previous slides, parents will probably go to any of these schools, wherever they might be located, and get a form. They fill the form and go and pay for an admission fee at the bank. When they get to the bank, they get a teller, which they take back to the school bursary department for submission, in which they get a receipt at the end of the day to take to the admission office. Now that is a workflow, but is it effectively implemented? Now to ensure that a workflow is effectively implemented, thereby affording the customer client satisfaction and the school more traffic you need to put in place automation. We are speaking today about how organizations can manage their workflow from anywhere. Automation needs to be considered. Now, I'd like us to, I'd like us to look at a research that the World Economic Forum carried out on the future of jobs. The reason for this research or the objective of this research is to define how employers respond to automation. Now, the, re the reports from this research says that 91% of employers see automation as an opportunity, an opportunity for work to be a channel in which employers can recognize their full potentials. Now, where you have an organization where you have automated processes, you realize that your staff or your employers can really optimize their potentials. They can really put in more work in less time thereby creating a work environment that is efficient. Now, 75% believe automation can drive higher productivity. Now, using automated services or automated systems across the public sector or organizations will ensure or enable employers deliver efficient services to their customers. 
therefore also providing a workforce of productivity. Now, 58% of employers also believe that automation will lead to a better quality of service. The example that I placed, uh, the example that I explained earlier suggests this. So if a parent in the comfort of our home can log onto the website of the, of the school and download a form and carry out payments at, just at our home, then you realize that that organization or that school has provided better quality of service to the parent. Now, what is workflow automation? Now, I've also I've explained workflow and I've explained what it means to automate your workflow. So workflow automation, putting it together, simply just refers to the steps that you take to carry out a business or a business process being done automatically. Therefore, it provides an environment where your daily work activities can be done seamlessly. It provides an environment for efficiency, accuracy, innovation. And then your organization moves from the manual work, work office work to a smart office environment. It reduces redundancy as well. And then it saves time, it saves costs, and increases work productivity. Now, how do we implement workflow automation? Implementing workflow automation requires managing your workflow automation. And it, it, it implies or it involves that you create a business process design. When you have done that, you execute that design, deploy and automate based on predefined rules that has been set by the organization, such that work or tax work activities that need to be carried out around that process are automatically routed or, or distributed between people, technology, and data. What does this provide for us? It provides an, an environment, a working organization, where you can track the business process, you can control it, and you can coordinate the various activities that surround the business process. Now, how is this? beneficial to an organization. Now, the workflow automation helps organizations streamline and automate repeated business tasks. Again, I refer back to the school business. You realize that every parent needs to go through that repeated process of having go to the bank and come back to the school and go through the various departments. But where automation is put in place, you realize that that process flow is streamlined and a parent can carry out all of that activity within the comfort of their space. Now, workflow automation also minimizes room for errors and increases work efficiency, which in turn improves the business. Now, managers also can work quickly and smarter, smartly. They can make business decisions faster. Now and then it also creates an environment where employers are empowered to collaborate and, and provide an agile working organization. Now, I'd like us to look at another research that was carried out by McKenzie Digital. They came up with four fundamentals of workplace automation. Also, try, the objective is to measure or look at how employers or organizations respond to automation. Now, one of the fundamentals is the automation of activities. Mackenzie carried out this research with uh, 2,000 work activities, which was measured against 18 different capabilities. Now, at the end of this research, it was found out that 14, 45% of the work activities can actually be automated using current technology, thereby creating a workforce or a workplace of productivity and efficiency. Now, another fundamental is the redefinition of jobs and business processes. Now, automating your business processes, automating your business processes allows you to provide efficient service to your customers and therefore increasing the workforce productivity. Now, for business redefinition of jobs and business processes, it was stated that businesses can actually be automated. Another fundamental is the high impact on high wage occupation. 
Now, conventional wisdom suggests that low skill and low wages are susceptible to automation. But McKenzie carried out research and put together the database of different occupations, high-skilled occupations against low-skilled occupations, and found out that even high-skilled occupations these days can be uh, automated using current technologies. Now, when you talk about high-skilled occupations, you're looking at occupations in the aviation space, in finance, HR, even the banking sector. You also realize that senior executive positions, work activities around senior executive positions can also be automated, thereby also providing a work efficient environment. Now, the future of creativity and meaning is the fourth fundamental of workplace automation. Mackenzie suggests to us that creativity is very difficult to automate. But when, you find, when you're in an environment or an organization that is very manual, you realize that if, if an employer does not give his best into creativity and automation. But when you automate your processes within your organization, you have, you have invariably reduced the repeated tax that goes on with manual processes, thereby allowing your employer focus on tax that surrounds creativity and innovation. So we see the benefits of automation in our organization. It drives productivity. It creates or gives your workers full potentials or an avenue or an environment to express their full potentials. Now the digital age, the new digital age is upon us. It suggests to us that an organization needs to run an automated process within their business. Now, the new age also suggests to us that every organization needs to consider automating their business processes. For instance, we could have had this meeting or we could have put out um, a call for this meeting and have a lot of people come together in a space and then had, had this session. But due to technology and due to innovation, Due to automation, we are able to come together, sit at the comfort of our homes, and actually listen to this webinar. This is where automation has been brought, has been considered. And this is where automation is advantageous to our business. Now, how can organizations manage their workflow from anywhere? First off is the use of technology. Technology gets the job done efficiently. It allows you, it's a platform that allows you to carry out your, job, your work activities or business processes seamlessly. It enables the business to restructure repetitive paper-based ways of carrying out their job. Now, technology creates a platform to carry out business processes from anywhere and at any time. The example I gave is this webinar that we are holding. Due to social distancing, it would have been very difficult to bring people together physically to carry out a seminar or to carry out this session. But for technology, it has created platforms for video conferencing, which makes it easier for, people, for organizations to reach out to their audience. Another way to manage your workflow is the use of the cloud. Now the cloud is a, part, is a server or a platform where you can store or archive and retrieve your data. Now, when you use technology, it's also important that you have a secure platform to store your data. So when you carry out your business activities digitally, you can be sure that from anywhere and at any time, you can access the data of your business or your organization when you have them on the cloud. So it's very essential that organizations invest in the cloud, invest their business in the cloud. Automate and motivate. We have spoken about automation and how it can help an organization have a work effective environment. Now, when you automate your processes, you realize that your employers spend more time on their actual work and less time on the processes that support that work, thereby motivating them to carry out more work. You find that, that they do more work in less time because most of these processes are automated and they can be carried out seamlessly. Therefore, creating an environment 
that is less tedious and then you carry out a lot of work, it's less time consuming. And then you also, it, it also reduces costs. And then employers, you find out that employers are just happy to carry out their work. Now, where can um, processes be automated? There actually isn't a restriction to, to automating your business processes. Now you can automate, if you're in the HR field, you can automate the business process, probably the appraisal process. You can automate the appraisal process. You can automate your travel expenses. You can automate generating invoices for your customers. You can generate your payroll system. So there is a wide vast of business processes that can actually be automated to create work efficiency in your organization. Now the essence of our webinar today is we're looking at the process of memo approvals and confirmation. Now, um, automating these processes requires the use of an e-memo management system. This system allows you to generate your memo, go through the normal approvals, and then at the end of the day, have the memo implemented. Let me paint a scenario. So you're working in an organization where the process of um, approval is, is manual. So you print out or you probably type out your memo, you send the mail or you, you print it out and take it to your HOD to sign off on. So your HOD finds errors and sends it back to you and say correct. You make the corrections, it goes back to your HOD. Then your HOD signs off, it goes to the auditor who probably also says that the numbers on your memo is not quite right. You have to take it back and make corrections as well. You come back to your auditor, have it signed off, and it goes through probably three executive managers for approval. You can imagine how tedious that can be. But when you consider using the e-memo management system, it allows you to carry out all of these work activities digitally. Therefore, eliminating the traditional method of using paper. You can also con consider the process and say that, okay, mails will be sent to every stakeholder involved in treating that memo. But then when the mail drops, who tells them or how are they aware that the mails are dropped in their system? You have to put a call through to them. Everything is manual. But with an automated system in place, all of this can be done in 15 minutes. A process that you can probably do or carry out in three, four days or maybe a week. But the new normal has suggested to us that in this new digital age, an e-memo management system should be considered when carrying out this work process. What does the e-memo management system offer us? Less paper usage. So you don't have to go about printing paper every time it is not approved by your senior, senior officer. It reduces processing time. I have explained that. It reduces cost and human errors. And then it makes the process a lot faster. So with an e-memo management system, the organization also has a platform where they can customize their systems. So you want to brand your organization on this, in this process. You want to upload your logo. You want to use the colors of your organization on this system. An e-memo management system can afford you that opportunity. And then this system can also be accessed on any device, anywhere. So you're using your phone, you're using your laptop or your tab, your iPad. You can use or access an e-memo management system on all of these devices. It also creates a platform where hierarchies can also be defined. So in an organization, we, put, we consider or it is considered that, organization, that there are organization, organizational hierarchies so all of this can also be implemented in the e-memo management system. Now, key elements to the success or key elements in the e-memo management system for the success of the new digital economy is visibility. An e-memo management system provides visibility. So everyone is accountable. You know what responsibilities that you are meant to carry out. So each stakeholder in the value chain is aware and notified of what process they are meant to carry out. It also allows an organization to define their roles, to define who, who approves uh, a memo, and uh, who approves the memo first, and who is the next to approve the memo. 
and who is the final officer to implement the business process. Therefore, allowing management also, management does not need to intervene in the business process since it has already been predefined. Now, in Vertebra, we have put together all the pain points of approving, uh, of generating a memo and then approving it manually. And then we came together to develop an application, a novel indigenous application that we call the We Approve application. Now, this, the We Approve application is a subscription based online work for approval system that allows you to digitally generate your memo, approve your memo, append before approval or while during approval, append your signature to the memo. You can either you can also approve the memo or reject the memo as it were. And at the end of the day, archive your memo as well. This solution can be used in the private and the public sector. And it can also be used by the small, the SMEs as well. Now, the We Approve system is an e-memo management system that can be accessed from anywhere using technology. Now, it was built on technology that is very accessible and the data are also stored in cloud. So any business can actually log on to this solution and carry out the approval workflow. Now, considering that the approval workflow actually is a common process in all organizations. So using the, the We Approve solution will enable every organization or member of staff or the, the, the departments that is in charge of raising an e-memo carry out these processes seamlessly. Now, what are the benefits of the, of the We Approve solution? Now, the We Approve solution has a user management system where an organization can actually create their departments, the users, and assign roles and privileges to these users. You can also, haven't done that, you can create your memos. And then haven't done that, you can also attach comments to the memos when you are approving. You can also attach supporting documents to your memos at the point of initiation. Now you have generated a memo in time past, you want to retrieve the memo, the We Approve e-memo management system will also has the functionality to retrieve memos periodically. Now also in this value chain, it's essential that the stakeholders of this process are notified when they need to act upon the e-memo. The e -memo. So the We Approve solution also can send notification to the stakeholders in this value chain. Now, the benefits of this solution, it saves time, it reduces costs, and it's highly, it is customizable. And it's also a platform where better decisions can be made. Now, I also explained how it also reduces paperwork, therefore saving stationaries. And then it is role-based. So this system is a platform, like I said before, when you create your users on this system, you can assign the functions that they are meant to carry out on the system. So the user that initiates might not be the same user that will approve, definitely. They will not be the same user that will approve. So at approval, the initiator does not have access to approving the memo. And then it's very easy to use and it's very simple. It's a process that can run in a short period of time. Now, the three components of the We Approve e-memo management system is it is a hub. The We Approve solution is a hub where memos can be raised from different departments and different users. And then also approval can also be done on the same platform. Now, it is subscription based. So depending on the size of your organization, it is a platform that allows you, depending on the size of your organization, the processes to click or to have access to the process based on the size of your organization. And then it can be accessed anywhere and at any time. How can you raise the post, uh, in, an e-memo on this platform? So like we said, the memo is initiated by a user in a department. 
and then he can include all the supporting documents, the files, and append the signature. Now, at the point of creating a user, that user, at the point of creating a user, you can upload the signature of that user. Now, it runs through the, the approval levels. You can have, depending on your organization, more than three, less than three. But then when the memo is initiated, it runs through the appro approval process that has been defined in the organization. The memo can be disapproved and approved as it were. But at the end of the day, the process is implemented and the memo can be archived for future use or decision making. Now in Vertebra, we have put together or we have implemented a backup system that allows you to access your files or access your documents at any time. So when a data center is probably unavailable, there's really no cause for alarm as the process as we have put in place a backup system where there is a failover to another server and then you have seamless access to your data. So you are, you are not aware when a data center is unavailable because it fails over to the next or the backup server in place. Data access and security. So the We Approve solution is very secure. We have put in place security around user access where a, a user, when a user is created, his username and an encrypted password is made available to him. Now on login, you are required to change your password and this password is known to only you. Now a system or an organization can also, the system can also be integrated into the organization's active directory and network infrastructure. Now we have also put in place network security firewalls for unauthorized users or access to the network. The We Approve solution has been placed on the HTTPS platform where the SSL certificate authenticates users that have access into the, the portal. And then we also have encrypted data for communication between the user and the portal. All of this has been put in place to ensure that the We Approve solution is secure and the information and data on the solution is as well as well secure and cannot be accessed by unauthorized users. How do we start off with the We Approve solution? All you need to do is to log to type www.weapprove.net on your browser, and then you have the solution for your use. We have implemented a 30-day version for you to run the process free and all the, all the features are available to you in your organization. After the 30 day, you are expected to subscribe to the paid version of the application. Now we look forward to having you on board. Thank you very much for spending time with us. I am ready to take the questions. Thank you, Mosu. Thank you, Adjoba. Thank you so very much. Remy, please question and answer session. Kindly proceed, please. Thank you, Musa. Thank you, Adela. I'd like to say again that if we have questions, let us drop them in the chat room. We can also raise up our hands to ask questions. Right now, we don't have any questions in the chat room, and no one is raising this to our hands. Please, if there are questions, I'd like to take them. Okay, I, I don't think we have any question via the chat room. Dear delegates, please, if you, if you would like to also use the raise hand feature, you can so, so that we can unmute you, you can speak. Okay, um, Adela, can you hear me? Can you hear you? Elsie, yes, Elsie has a question. She says, what is the confidentiality of the document? So like I mentioned earlier, that the document is actually, or documents in the e-memo, in the We Approve application is actually very secure. The unauthorized users cannot have access to the system. And a user that has actually initiated that document is the only one that can have access to the document, except he now sends it to the approval officer. So the documents are actually very secure and cannot be accessed by other people in other departments or staff or employers in other departments. So it's actually very secure. 
Okay. So the next question is, is the software on the shelf? This is from Ola Dero Ajitumobi. Okay, no, the software is not on the shelf. So if you want to have access to the software, you just send a mail to the contacts on the screen and then we'll take it from there. Thank you very much. Okay, so I think these are the two questions I can see for now. I'm trying to go through. See if anyone is raising their hands. No. No. Okay, so I guess it's only LC and then Mr. Mr. Oladiro Ajetumobi that has a question for us. Um, so quickly, I would like to call on Matthew Marker to speak uh, briefly about Batibra. Matthew? Yeah, Muzu. Hi. Please go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Very okay. well, loud and clear. You. Thank you so much, Adiola, for that um, presentation. Um, just before I talk about Batibra, you can actually, the person that asked about the product, whether it's on shelf, you, if you go to the URL that was shared, you can actually um, consume that product for the next 30 days for free and ascertain if the product meets your need, you know. But if you have any challenges around setting it up, then you can possibly send us a mail. Now, Vertebra is an ICT organization headquarters in Nigeria with offices in strategic African countries. African countries that include Ghana, Sierra Leone, Kenya, Uganda, and the Gambia. We have business offices in this location. We actually pioneered the online software solution in the Nigerian market space with our flagship result checker solution for educational bodies in Nigeria. Our organization has been in existence for over 16 years with business experience across the African countries mentioned. We are staffed today with over 100 employees cutting across project management, business analysts, business development specialists, software developers, accounts and finance analysts, and also strategy individual. We are a company that is duly registered with the respective regulatory bodies across the countries that we do business. We ensure that we meet up with all our statutory responsibilities in all the countries that we do business. So invariably, we are a responsible business partner now, as you come on board to do business with us, you are guaranteed of a business partner that is responsible, solid, and very supportive. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Matthew. Um, I just had to pick it up in the chat room. So, on this very note, I would like to say a very big thank you for joining our live session. And we sincerely hope you come on board. If you have any other questions, please send a mail to the email address just right before your screen. Um, we we'll definitely get a response. Thank you so very much and have a good afternoon. Thank you and enjoy your weekend. Thank you very bye. Much. Bye for now.